Russia signed a contract with Iran for the supply of Arash-2 drones, which are superior in parameters to the Shad-136, which the Russians are already using against Ukraine. This is reported by the Institute for the Study of War. American analysts suggest that Russia has concluded a new contract with Iran for the supply of Arash-2 drones. They refer to Ukrainian and Russian telegram channels that reported leaks from unspecified Iranian sources that Russia had acquired an undisclosed number of Arash-2 drones, which are said to be faster and more destructive than the Shad-136 drones currently in use by the Russians' military. ISW points out that the commander of Iran's ground forces, Brigadier General Khaimur Hidari, previously stated that the Arash-2 drones have unique long-range capabilities and can target cities in Israel, such as Tel Aviv and Haifa, from bases in Iran. The reports that Moscow continues to rely on Tehran for weapons are consistent with a U.S. Treasury report, indicating that Russia is rapidly increasing its supply of microelectronics, which are critical to the military-industrial complex because they cannot replace key components, unavailable due to sanctions. Russia will likely continue to use its relationship with Iran to circumvent sanctions, although it is highly unlikely that Russian forces will use the Arash-2 to any greater effect than they use the Shad-136 model ISW concluded. On August 30, it became known that Iran secretly supplies Russia with attack drones, which are used in the war against Ukraine. On October 5, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Iran denied the delivery of kamikaze drones to the Russian Federation. On October 14, Defense Minister Alexei Yereznikov announced that the Russian army currently has about 300 drones supplied by Iran. Overall, the Arash-2, also known as the Kyan-2, was first demonstrated in 2019 and is a further development of the Arash-1, Kyan-1, Kamikaze drone that was publicly announced in 2015. Compared to the previous version, it is twice as large. According to the Iranian media, the Arash-1 has a wingspan of 2 meters, a payload of up to 30 kilograms, a practical ceiling of 5.5 kilometers, cruising speed of 350 kilometers per hour and a maximum of 480 km per hour. On the other hand, the Arash-2, Kyan-2, has a wingspan of up to 4 meters, a length of up to 4.5 meters, and a range of up to 1,000 km, 1,600 km, according to some sources. Iranian sources claim that the drone has a jet engine. But in the first public photos, the tail part of the drone was wrapped in cellophane, and in other available photos, it is clearly visible that it is equipped with a propeller engine. There is also a version that Arash and Kian differ in their engines. But then the specs of these kamikaze drones should be completely different in terms of flight range and combat part. A civilian chassis is used as a launch platform, which can be disguised as an ordinary truck. A rocket booster is used for launch. Iranian sources claim that Arash-2, Kyan-2, can be equipped with a passive homing radar head, and its purpose is to destroy radar stations. They also claim the possibility of equipping it with television cameras, but there is not a single photo with them. Regarding the passive anti-radar head, its installation is theoretically possible. On some drones, installed antennas are visible. 
but its size hardly indicates the possibility of a full-fledged communication channel at a considerable distance. The possibility of its use as an element of a passive radar head is debatable. However, after viewing some photos, one gets the impression that it is generally finished in a graphic editor. Thus, it is possible to assume that there are several versions of the Arash 2, Kian 2, itself. It is not exclusive that some of them can be equipped with a passive radar homing head, while others are flying bombs guided by satellite navigation for hitting stationary objects. At the same time, the meaning of the development of almost identical kamikaze drones with similar capabilities Shad 131, Shad 136 and Arash, Kian, Arash 2, Kian 2, may well be explained by different organizations that carried out development in the interests of different structures. In particular, the Shad 131-136 was developed by the Iranian Aircraft Industrial Company, and Arash Kian, by specialists of the Iranian Air Defense Forces, and the supply goes to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or the Ground Forces, or the Air Force.